Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Future Stars Reese James card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is six foot tall, high medium work rates, right footed, three star skills with a three star weak foot. Now from base card stats of this card, oh, he has early crosser too. That's really nice. Uh, from base card stats from this card, guys, he looks really good. He looks cracked, man. If he sucks in game, I'm going to be very sad. Because he looks really good. What is his body type? I think I checked it yesterday. And it was like stocky. Ooh, stocky body type as a center back or a right back would be kind of nice with those dribbling stats. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Hmm. That's kind of nice, actually. So 89 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. You could give him a shadow. You could. But, you know, let's give him a little bit of extra physical stats. Because, guys, here's the thing. You're going to have 94 acceleration, right? 97 sprint speed while giving him 98 strength, 85 for aggression, and 91 for jumping. Jumping like that in a six foot tall height, you know, in the center back position or right back position could be really nice. The pace boost I think is already good enough. His shooting, I don't expect this card to be my uh, aggressive oriented fullback or uh, right mid. Like I can use him in the right mid position, but it's obviously better to use someone like Alfonso Davies in that area because Alfonso Davies obviously has an incredibly good shooting presence, right? You take a look at this car, look at his shooting, right? So that's the ideal car to use in that left mid, right mid position. But the reason why we're going to be using him there in that position is because uh, we're going to test out his attacking and defensive capabilities, obviously. I like using them in the right mid area to see what they're like in the right back position, essentially, right? Because they come back in the fence. Um, so we'll see what, he, what he's like there. We're also going to rotate him into the center back position at some point in the game, too, because I feel like he could be a really good center back, too. Because if you take a look at the boost that this card is given with the anchor chemistry style, he looks crazy, bro. This card, and as a center, I, I, bro, as a right center back, oh, right center back, he 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 just he's hitting the right spots for me, man. I really hope this card doesn't disappoint in game, right? But base card stats for passing is very good as well with a three star weak foot. He's got eighty two composure with that uh, dribbling balance at eighty is probably gonna be the most noticeable thing on the card. But if it's a defender, who cares, right? Because he's got eighty seven agility, eighty four for reactions, ninety ball control, at eighty nine at dribbling. With 82 composure, the defensive stats for base card stats is really good too, man. It's really good too because when you boost it, take a look. It's just the heading accuracy that's lower, but like it's heading accuracy, right? And then the physical stats, big things, man. Two big things is strength, aggression with the pace that he has, okay? Those are the biggest things you have to see when it comes to looking at a card like this. Uh, we managed to put a team together here because my boy actually had Conte chilling in his squad. So that was actually perfect for this. Um, but... We are going to be using him in the 3-5-2 formation in the right back or the right mid position right now. And then as the game progresses, uh, we will rotate the team the team accordingly. I'll probably put like Kimik over there and then I'll put like Reese James as like a right center back. And then I might try him out as a center back as well. So um, yeah, let's get into a game and see how he plays. Okay, we got... Oh, good job, dude. Good job. I like this team. Nice. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. Is that... Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice. I love the links, man. Jimenez is like the only one that's off, but it's probably like a first donor. That's probably why he's using him there. GG's, bro. That's dope. Oh, Manchester United tied 3-3 against Everton. Say word, say word. You guys see Bruno's goal today? My Portuguese brother, okay? Best midfielder of all time, all right, in FIFA. In real life, there's a lot of good ones, but, you know, in FIFA. Ooh, love that Team of the Year card. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Yo. Okay, you know what he kind of feels like? He's like, he's like Kleiber 2.0. Does that make sense? That dribbling is very similar to Kleiber. Okay, so we overcommitted him here. Don't want to do anything. Don't want to do anything. He wasn't like super aggressive to push back, but he did get back into position eventually. He's on comeback in defense, right? So it's not the actual left back or right back position. But, you know, I use players like Bruno Fernandes in that uh, left mid, right mid position. And to be honest with you guys, he plays that role super nice. So Reese James actually cuts inside right there. Interesting.
Right now, guys, I'll tell you that it's it's kind of like Kleiber. Like, I like using Kleiber as, like, a stay back while attacking fullback. He's great like that. Um, Reese James is definitely giving me those vibes. I'm telling you, I it, it's almost, it almost feels like it might be wasted to use him as a, uh, as a fullback because he's got, like, really good characteristics for a center back position, to be honest. Ah, oh, those are not penalties, man. Those are not penalties, man. It's a good tackle there. I mean, I need I need to watch this because that's, that's just not. No, man. Come on. It's FIFA, guys. You take what you can get. I'll go left side. It's a pretty obvious one. There you go. There's like a mentality towards it, you know. I'm telling you guys, this is like Cliver 2.0. <laughs> it's like using Cliver, a, a card that like actually gives you links. It's one of those things, you know. It's interesting. Hey, at least Reese James was in the general vicinity, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use him as a center back. I use Cliver as a center back too. Like when I have to switch to the three at the back, um, he actually plays that position really nicely. Uh, Reese James, like I'm telling you guys, like he he's giving me like crazy right back on stay back while attacking vibes and center back vibes. Uh, center back, uh, he could be really cool. Those high mediums, I want to see. See that dribbling that he has? It's better to have like more agile fullbacks, in my opinion. Um, he does do that emphasis thing, which is fine if he's playing center back, right? Legrand switch to Reese James. Ball roll touch. He feels so much like a center back. So much. Oh, give me that shield, baby. I got the pace for days with Reese James. His tracking right there was already super aggressive to block that like cut like that cut passing lane area, you know. I always say cut passing lane area because that instruction is just such a huge thing with FIFA nowadays. Oh, top class with Ronaldo and Bruno Fernandez. That's where we're winning the World Cup right there, baby. Don't do it. No. He did the thing. Uh... Yeah, this is mostly gonna be like a center back review, <laughs> like hundred percent. You know what's the one thing that I'm noticing with the card so far is that in the center back position, I have counted three or four different occasions that when he sees a person next to him or a runner next to him, what he actually does is he will do an initial run to cut that passing lane. Does that make sense? Like he's already running so that when I switch to him, he's already in that running animation to go and get the ball. I'm noticing that he does that a lot so far. So let's see if it's like a consistent thing in the center back position. Okay, what do we got here? You know what, man? People are actually like using different teams in Div 1. Maybe it's because I'm playing on the weekend, so you're facing people who are more prone to not being a bunch of losers using the same stuff constantly, you know? Like, this is cool, man. He's got Duncan in there, a flashback Rebri, I like it. Good job, guys. Fantastic work. Oh, this guy's bunched back here. Look, bro, look at this, man, bro. He's starving. He's starving, boys. Been marking my Reese James there with the other guy there. Brother, it's team of the year, Ronaldo. Like, if you're going to be playing this defensive tactic, once you give me these players, and I can now body you like that, like, come on. Oh, GG's. No more defense for you, my friend. It's so crazy, though, man, because it actually benefits him for me to be this aggressive on the attack because um, through balls are just so dumb in this game and counterattack is just so effective, you know? Good block there with Reese James. His body type is nice to have in that center back position. 
You see, you see that like thing he does, how he aggressively like pushes that like angle where he might make that through ball pass. I like that he does that, man. It's very, very helpful. That in the fullback position would be great, to be honest with you. Oh, why does he why does he not intercept that? Why? Why why does he not intercept that? I don't understand. Good job, Reese. We'll take that. Bro, he can't he can't handle if I go for dribbles, man. He can't. Well done, James. Controlled as well there on the side. I'll take that. He literally runs like Clabber too. It's really interesting. Good stuff. We'll take that. I don't blame James for that at all. That's just this game's really poor mechanics. When when they have to like register to the ball defensively, it just doesn't for some reason. Like it doesn't register properly. It's really bad actually. Yeah, this is basically fiber guys. His high medium work rates are not necessarily uh, super ideal for a three at the back. I find him like a little bit higher than I'd like him to be most of the times. Um. Which is kind of dangerous when you play a three at the back formation, right? All right, guys. So normally when we do play reviews, like we usually just do like one or two games because honestly, it's it is good enough for me. It's I just I just honestly don't need more. Um, but in this case, we played what five six games with him. Um, yeah, he's basically like using Kleiber, right? If I'm using a four at the back formation, I wouldn't necessarily recommend him as a three at the back. Three at the back, he's very weird. He's very very weird. But in a four at the back formation, if he's playing as one of your center backs or he's playing as your fullback on stay back while attacking, he's pretty nice. The reason why I say stay back while attacking is because he is a six foot tall player with a stocky body type. So that in the attack is not necessarily ideal to have with dribbling stats like this, but dribbling stats like this on stay back while attacking, being more of a defensive oriented player is really nice. Now, people have been mostly looking at this card in a center back perspective, right? Like, is he gonna make an amazing center back? I think the only thing that genuinely throws me off a little bit with this card in regards to being a center back is the high medium work rates. High medium work rates was a very noticeable thing. He has a combination of being aggressive in the defense, but then also blocking that that passing lane, right? But the problem is that he does a lot of going forward, coming back. So what you have to do with a card like this is that you do have to fully commit your defensive plays with him specifically. With Sergio Ramos, I think he also he might have a high medium as well. Because there's certain cards that have high mediums and it's really not that big of a deal. But, you know, like, it's going to be weird to say this, but like, you know, Joe Gomez, right? Medium high work rated with a shadow chemistry style. I would still rather have him over this Reese James card in center back. It's weird to say, right? Like, you would think this, it would be better, but it's because of the work rate. The medium high makes a huge difference. The, the fact that he just feels like a center back... You know, Joe Gomez, that also makes a difference too. It's just one of those things in FIFA, you know? Like, you can use fullbacks at center back. I know that some people do actually do this um, and they enjoy it, but for me, it's, like, weird. It depends on the player. Like, Kleiber's nice there, but Reese James in a three at the back I didn't like. But if he's playing in a four at the back, like I said, stay back while attacking as a fullback or as one of the two center backs, it'll be fine because if you have him as one of the two center backs, you have the other center back to compensate for the work rates, right? So one is high medium, the other is high, uh, medium medium, or one is high medium, one's medium high. There's more of a balance there, right? But in a three at the back, this, this doesn't exist as much, right, uh, in my opinion. So... Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the review. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.